Hi, and welcome to this video about Polaris, the new music making app for Android that I recently released. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how, the, how it works and uh, what you can do with it. So let's get started. So the first thing you will see when opening the app will be this screen, which is the sequence page of the application. You can start the sequence by pressing play here, and then you can add some steps like this. So now we have a pretty basic uh, kick drum sequence already running. Uh, we can change the sound uh, we're using by clicking here. And then it opens a sample uh, menu. We can preview samples. And if you want to load a sample on the sequence, we can just hit load here. So now we have a very basic sequence with a house chord sample. Uh, running in it. Um, what if we want to add another track, another layer? So we go to the bottom here and the numbers here correspond to the different tracks of the sequencer. So let's go to track two and add some steps. Cool, so now we have uh, our house chord playing with our hi-hat on two different tracks. So the next thing I want to uh, show you here are the um, little knobs on the top of the sequence page, which correspond to the parameters that you can set for this particular track. Um, let's hear let's hear what they do. So the first one, volume, pretty basic. Then we have the cutoff frequency of the filter. Then the decay, which is basically how long the song, the sound is going to be, and the pitch. So if we look on the bottom of these knobs here, we see that there are four modes. Uh, buttons which uh, stand for modulation. Um, and for example, if I want to modulate the pitch uh, of this uh, sequence, I can just click mod here. So I'm going to modulate the pitch for the different steps on the sequence. And so to add modulation values, I just slide up or down. And now we should hear some pitch changing over steps. So the cool thing is that we can uh, obviously change the pitch over steps uh, by using this modulation, but we can also modulate all of our parameters. For example, let's modulate the decay and uh, let's make this step longer. So these parameters and their associated uh, modulation are independent per track. So for example, here we've set uh, this modulation for DK and pitch for track one, but uh, we can obviously make uh, some pitch modulation for track two, which is completely independent of track one. So this allows us to make really uh, complex evolutions in the sound, in the sequence, uh, which is really interesting. So the next thing I want to show you here, is located uh, under this four uh, steps e icon here. So you just click on it and it's the sequence length parameter. Um, let me show you by adding all the steps. And let's play with it. So it's a pretty interesting parameter to uh, modify. It's uh, independent per track as well, so you can create very uh, complex variation or very complex uh, sequence combinations using that. And the last uh, thing I want to show you on the sequence page uh, is the trig condition. So let's go to back to track one. 
and the three conditions are accessed by long pressing a step and then you just slide up or down and you see different values and you can just release one uh, once you see your value you would like to use and let's use this one for example so uh, this value is uh, one over two which means it's gonna play this step is gonna play the first time over two grid so let's hear what it does So this is really interesting because you can uh, create longer variations uh, by using the string conditions and uh, you can actually do um, so we've done that over two loops two grids but you can say i want this step to be active the third time over four loops so let's hear it So um, yeah, I think that's it for the sequence page. I won't go into details uh, about uh, the other page, especially the design page, which is uh, a bit deeper. It's where you would go more in depth with parameter additions. I just wanted to mention uh, that here we use the sample engine, um, but we also have a synth engine, which is pretty interesting to use. Um, so yeah, just try it out if you have the application already. Uh, it's pretty nice to uh, use. And finally, let's take a look at the mix page here. So on this page, you have access to uh, the levels of any of the six tracks. Um, so pretty handy to uh, mix your finer uh, composition. You can access mute as well on this page, which is pretty inter interesting. And let's see the reverb and delay component here. So I'm gonna, just gonna go and add more sounds and tracks. Okay, so obviously I'm still on synth here, so I'm going back to sample. So yeah, reverb and delay. So uh, what we can do here is actually send any track into reverb or into delay. So now I have reverb selected here, and I can say I'm sending track three into the reverb, so let's hear it. And I can add any uh, other track I want into the reverb as well. And we can apply the same logic to uh, the delay. Alright, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it was interesting and that you discovered how Polaris works. Um, if you want to get in touch with me or any other Polaris user, you can join our Discord server. I will put the link in the description of this video. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, bye.